Hello. Yeah. I'd like to talk about almond milk today. Honey, let's um let me just do my thing. Aww, okay. You called me honey. Hi guys. Hi. We are back with another video on the our favorite keto products. Yes. And so um what was that? <laughs> just want to make sure we have one mic, so we're sharing it today. I think you should just I'll leave it on. Yeah. I'll do all the talking. Good. Okay. So the first product is almond milk. This is a really great product. It's called Ellie's Best Bigger Better Nut Milk Bag. Easy to make it all by yourself. We're going to take these almonds, high quality almonds, and then we're going to turn it into almond, almond milk. milk. And what do you use almond milk for? Well, I mean, you just drink it. You can drink it with your uh, keto cookies. <laughs> Want to say that again? No. Okay. Okay, you drink it with anything, your keto cookies. We are going to also be going over an amazing granola that we have. You drink it instead of milk. You can put it in your tea or coffee, anything you want. Exactly. Your shakes. Exactly. I, I'm glad that you clarified that because um, people just don't know why to drink this they stuff. They don't know what to do with well, almond milk. Almond milk, um, you know, actual regular milk is becoming a big problem. So this is a non-dairy uh, alternative. So the yep. first thing we're going to do, guys, you're going to taste, take um, a cup of almonds and we're going to soak it in water overnight. And what that does is it germinates it. So while Karen's rinsing this out, go ahead and rinse that out, I'm Karen. Um, I'm going to talk about what germinating is, which you're soaking your nuts. I'm sorry, you're going to soak, soak, soak these things overnight. You're getting rid of enzyme inhibitors. So those are the things that um, block enzymes. So now we can actually digest those things so it doesn't bloat you. And I think... One of the big problems is that um, for the gallbladder, if you're consuming nuts with enzyme inhibitors, you're going to create a lot of gallbladder congestion. So you're really making a lot of noise over there, Karen, but that's fine. Um, so we rinse them out. And now what we're going to do is we're going to blend them with water. A blender. Four to four and a half cups of water for these nuts okay very good keep in mind when you're soaking the nuts overnight they do swell so make sure your container has enough room this is a little over four cups of water okay it's interesting because i didn't know you had to dilute it that much but you do and then we're going to add some so we're going to have vanilla a half a teaspoon of vanilla and this is in this container because i make made my own vanilla last year in your spare time in all my free time a little heavy but okay okay and then a half a teaspoon of salt now this you is himalayan salt himalayan salt the best yeah you can add a sweetener if you want to we don't drink our beverages sweet almond milk coconut milk tea coffee so um we're not going to sweeten it but you could put some stevia or something like that in there. Okay, now we're gonna make a lot of noise. Ready? Oh, that was a long, that longest a minute, minute in the world. A long time when you're just watching it. Okay, now what do we do? Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it in this nifty bag here. It's an awesome bag. Over a large bowl. And we're basically gonna strain the mixture and we're gonna, sque <laughs> we're gonna squeeze it all out until the mixture inside's pretty dry. So here we go. It actually makes quite a bit of milk for just a small amount of uh, almonds. One cup. This is like one cup of almonds just making all this milk. This is awesome. All right. Okay, so. So now. Now you tight. You can actually tighten the strings. Okay. But you're still going to have to squeeze the bag, even if you tighten the strings. Right. So you're going to squeeze and twist. I'm just going to get all the liquid out of it. It's a lot of good milk there. Mm -hmm. And you know what's cool about this is, you know, when you buy it in the store, it comes with carrageen, which a lot of people don't like that ingredient. Um, there's, it's kind of questionable. But this has just basically almonds, salt, vanilla, and water. That's it. 
And th these are some high quality, wild harvested, raw, sweet almonds, family farmed, and they're natural, which is even better. So, you know, cause the problem is if you consume these nuts just by itself, um, they have enzyme inhibitors, so it's hard to digest. You have to either uh, bury your nuts in the backyard and then germinate them or soak them overnight. Bury and soak your nuts. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Okay. Maybe so we'll do another video on all your impressions, Karen. That's for another day. For another day. So I don't, I don't want to quickie this, but it does say keep going until the almond... Uh, mixture is really dry so you've squeezed out all the liquid and we're getting there that's good i guess you could be perfect good. in all of this for the point of demonstration we're going to end right there and i think Thank that's you. pretty good okay all right now what we have is we have our milk yes um why don't we pour some in now there and, and test it out pour some in there and then okay great bring here. it back the pitcher back now it does say chill immediately before you serve so we're not necessarily going to do that. No. Because we want to show how it is to enjoy it, right? That's correct, Karen. I'll just pour a little glass. All right. Okay. Actually, it's pretty good. I already, I already yeah. tried it before, but let's just pretend Cheers. like we've never tried this before. Okay. Mmm. Mm. That is good. It's refreshing. It smells wonderful. And I think ice cold, really good. Yeah, amazing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Good. Now let's go to the granola. All right. We're going to try our next thing. Okay. Okay. okay so now we're going to do some granola. Okay. Grapow. That's right. This is a punch to the palate minus the sugar and the violence. It's really cool. This company makes granola. It's totally keto friendly. There's flavors, uh, salted caramel brownie, yeah. snickerdoodle cookie, and um, that's another salted caramel. They yeah. have different flavors and probably other flavors, but my kids ate them all. Yeah, we had a problem with that. We um, have to hide this because my adult children, um, they like to eat granola. Eat it. This is by the Keto Baking Company. I actually interviewed her. Um, so she basically does all this in a um, kitchen. It's like a community kitchen. So it's a lot of work. And um, let's go ahead and sample it, Karen. Okay. While, so you're our while we're milk. pouring that. And uh, I want to tell you the ingredients. So first of all, it's extra virgin uh, coconut oil. Is it cod liver oil? No. Coconut erythritol, which is a really good sweetener. Almonds, flaxseed. Walnuts, pecans, unsweetened, uh, cocoa chips, free range. I saw that. Eggs, <laughs> cocoa powder, Himalayan pink sea salt, grass fed bovine collagen, stevia, okay, natural now. flavors, sodium bicarbonate, which is um, baking soda. Okay. So what? all those, make sure you have this here so they can see this. So all of these uh, ingredients together make a really, really yummy cereal and granola. You could munch it down out of a bowl like I have or have it with milk. Let's do it. Let's try it. Let's see. Not too much chewing. You have the mic. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's good. It's really good. You know, and it's just nice. I'm not a big bread person, but it is nice to sit with a bowl of cereal. I don't know if it's just in my head that that's comforting or wonderful, but. It's just in your head. It's a great, it's a, a great experience. This could be used as a dessert or possibly mm -hmm. a meal. Mm -hmm. If you add, add some other things. Mm -hmm. Now, when we tried to make our own granola at one time, we were looking at having some granola. I made Liz's great granola, it was amazing. Yeah. Huge Liz's, demands for my granola. It's a big project. But what was the flaw? It's really hard to make it without oats. Mm -hmm. So this is a winner, guys. This is a, a mm -hmm. really good product. We like this as another favorite product. Mm -hmm. um, so now let's go to the next product, okay? All right, so we got the next product. This is called Goodies. Sugar goodies. Goodies. They're goodies. Yeah. Get it? <laughs> got it. Sugar-free sweetness. So it's pancakes, 
um, brownies, cookies. Waffles, biscuits, pancakes, waffles. That's right. And no. do you know what I like about this, Karen? What? No maltitol. Uh, mommy likey. And you know why no maltitol? My tummy knows why. Yeah, and it has a glycemic index of like 53. That's like almost like sugar. It's the worst why, sugar why alcohol. Why use that as a sugar substitute? It's in all the sugar-free stuff. But it, if it still jacks your... Blood sugars? Blood sugars. <laughs> um, you know, that's a, if I knew that, would I be standing here right now? Probably not. But anyway, this is good almond flour. It's great ingredients. So we're going to try these. But we're not trying this. We're not going to be trying the pancakes. <laughs> we're going to be trying the cookies. Why is that? Because we made all the other ingredients. We, and we, already we made the other packages. And I just didn't, as you say, get around to it. Well, the problem is keeping those in the house, right? Right. It was all we could do to have enough cookies to sample because our kids ate them all. I had to hide them in a utility drawer. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. And then okay. my daughter-in-law found them getting some batteries. She's like, are these cookies? Okay. Well, I'm glad you saved at least two so we could sample these on so the camera. So there's sugar cookies. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is great. Yeah. So for those people that need convenience, this right. is it. Pancakes, uh, cookies, and brownies. So there's a lot of people that like brownies. Mm -hmm. You're eating faster than me, so I'm gonna oh, let sorry. you. That's okay. Mm. Convenience. It's good. So remember guys, this is your dessert. It's not the meal. This is not the snack. <clears throat> Something in your throat? <laughs> it's for, it's meant to be, oh, I, I better not put that back. After <laughs> the meal. The snack police will. Say That's something. right. Okay, look, I like to make stuff from scratch, but there are times. I don't have the time for that. I don't have the ingredients. All you need is a pack of this, and there's two other ingredients. That's all that we added to these. And I say we, I mean me. <laughs> it was so simple. It was so fast. And um, goodies, that's goodies. That's right. Awesome. So okay. let's, show you, let's, let's go to the next one. Okay. okay, we're at the next product. Okay. Cauliflower crust. Okay. Mm. So this comes in three different flavors. We've got sweet red pepper. We got the original Italian. Mm -hmm. And then we have the spicy jalapeno. Ooh, that sounds great. Now you know, first of all, I like that they call cauliflower the new white flour because people are using cauliflower in so many ways, and I dig it. I love cauliflower. It's my all-time favorite vegetable now. And there's so many things that you can do with cauliflower. It's off the charts and you just have to Google and experiment and you'll love it. And it's true. Maybe, you know, we have our cauliflower pizza made from scratch and that's awesome. Just like anything made from scratch at home is wonderful, but let's face it, Dr. Berg, sometimes you don't have time to do that or you don't want to do it. Are you, you saying wanna... some people like convenience? Are you trying Absolutely. to say that? Absolutely. They just want to go to their fridge. They want to go to their freezer and they want to be able to pull out that crust and then still they're custom making it however they want to. I dig that idea and I'm really glad these guys came up with it with the keto uh, <clears throat> frame of mind. Well, I think we should just, I want to make sure the biggest concern that most people have is it gluten free. Let me just tell you the ingredients, guys. It has uh, fresh cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, egg whites, jalapeno, garlic, and chili flakes. That's it. And look how cute Amy is. She's on She's on every box. And it, she is, she is adorable, cute. right? So with all of that, how can it possibly gluten, be bad? So let's, free. let's eat this. Let's eat it, Karen. Let's see what this happens what when you eat this. Now, I didn't add my red pepper, chili peppers and let's, extra the, garlic, which I always have to have on in pizza. The, in the crust. Well, Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. This she got winner. she got that right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you bring the napkins? No. Yeah, lick them. Mm. This is good. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna enjoy this. Make your homemade when you want to, but have this in your freezer. This I crust, mean I hate to sound pitchy, but this crust is Italian. 
Oh, the Italian so, flavor? Um, it's, it's really good. It actually adds a nice little flavor. Mm-hmm. She got that right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that's the thumbs up, right? Yep. This is awesome. Good. Let's go to the next one. We're going to do another one. All right. Okay, we're at the next and last product Yay. review. This is called Coco Perfection. This is the probably the most ultimate, uh, very Keto. low, very low carb, if any. It's like zero sugar type product non with chocolate. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's very high quality. So there's a, a couple flavors. This is a whole bar and it is um, almond dark chocolate. So if I open the bar, you can see that it is a chocolate bar and you can see the almonds. Look how beautiful that is, okay? Simply gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Do you want a bite? Yep. Okay, that one's <clears throat> for you. Now these are big bites. This is really amazing. Mm-hmm. It's so high quality. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have that flat waxy taste. Um, I don't know. It just seems like sugar alternative chocolates have all that same kind of flat, not full rich chocolate taste, but this has that amazing chocolate flavor. It's a candy bar. So we could basically do this as a snack, right? I'm going to let you answer that. That's I a no. Like you, I feel like you set me up with that question. This is basically after the meal as your dessert. And let me just tell you something, Karen. The first ingredient is dry oh. Oh. cocoa salads, roasted almonds, chicory root fiber, erythritol, coconut butter, and vanilla extract. I mean, that's it. So a lot of times when you get these sugar-free bars, uh, it comes with maltitol and different sweeteners that give a lot of digestive issues oh and i can tell you i'm really sensitive to that and i did i'm sure you'd be shocked to know that i sampled these yesterday i am shocked i can't i, I zero zero effect it was a beautiful thing i mean i've tried these over the over the years and i keep coming back like this is like the top top one so if you want quality if you want something good this now, is it right and this flavor is chocolate mint now, I don't know, I remember growing up and going out to dinner to a steakhouse with my whole family. And at the end of the meal, you would get those little, like, I think they're Andy's candies or something. Mm -hmm. They're little chocolates and they're minty. And I just hoarded everybody. Do you want your mint? Do you want your mint? You know, this reminds me of that. This is a little mint wafer, chocolate wafer. It is so lovely. It is exactly that. It's, it's awesome. And look yeah. how little it is. So they have the mint chocolate, dark chocolate. We have the orange uh, dark, dark chocolate. Dark orange chocolate. And then we and have And the other one almond. is just a dark chocolate, a regular chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, there's there's people out there that like chocolate. Mm -hmm. I know that's hard to believe. They, they're, and they want to know if they can have chocolate. Yeah, as long as it's uh, low sugar. This has a net carb of two. So we're minusing the fiber and two carbs. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. So, yeah, if you're going to do chocolate, this is something you may want to try mm -hmm. out. If you're going to um, have a little chocolate for a nice dinner or around the holiday, if you ever put candy out, um, this is the perfect <clears throat> alternative. There you have it. That's a review of our favorite keto products. Right. Enjoy them. Cut. 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 Probably don't mm. need it. Probably don't need mm. to put all this stuff on there. Cut the but. cake. Mm. Mm. Cut the cake. As long as you don't say cut the cheese. <laughs> I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs>